Okay, in this, this vocal, I thought it uh, sounded a bit dull, and I thought that we needed to just have some enhancement on it, and also I thought it was a bit bass heavy. So I'm gonna use uh, the Sonox EQ and the Dynamics to, to clean it up and uh, um, bring out the presence a bit more in the vocal. Um, first up, I'll start with... Take a look at all the things you've got. I'll start with the Sonox EQ. Um, and as you see, I've got a low pass filter here, um, set at 18. And around a little bit under 200 hertz. Nothing, Nothing ever, ever seems to hit the spot. I don't know what I can do for you. I thought the low end of the recording sounded a little bit muddy, so I cleaned that up. And especially over the track that I'm doing here, it's uh, uh, really the hook of the track is the bass line. So we really wanted that to um, stand out. Um, I've added a bit of boost at around, at around 3K. And I've also added a high shelf, just a bit of high shelf, um, to really bring out uh, the presence of the vocal, really... Uh, really get rid of the mud and make it stand out a little bit more clear over top of the mix. And after that in the chain, I've brought in a dynamics. I've done some, I've done some gating to get rid of the, Cause get rid of the noise in the background. Take a, a look at a all of the things you've got. And I've brought in the warmth at about 50%, just to warm up just a bit. Never seems to hit the spot. And I'll let you hear it over top of the track. Take a look at all the things you've got. Sonox EQ has really cleaned up uh, this vocal recording and really brought out the brilliance of it and uh, got rid of the mud in the low end. Um, it sits better on top of the track now. It sounds sounds more um, upfront and and it's done it in a really natural way. It didn't add a lot to the signal, and uh, it's it's just a really great EQ.